It's the happy comrade here and today I'm gonna do a little bass guide it's how I like to set up my bass normally when I play solo that, that's just for me playing solo and uh, that's how I like to set up my bass so first you can see I've done a little bit of preparations and um, first at first you're going to want to dig um, six three by three places like that and then um, get a pitchfork and place your campfire in the middle of a tile between four of the spaces and in, in the other middle of the tile between the, these spaces you're going to want to place an ice fling pneumatic there because there are going to be all your farms and flammable things. So here we place we place an ice box and a crock box. Fuck off word please, I'm trying to do a video, come on. Around the ice box, we just place a couple of three, a couple of crock pots. Now, I normally like to use four crock pots. That's the most efficient for me. But you can go with two, you can go with one, you can go even with five if you want. But that's just how I like uh, playing, and uh, that's how, what I like. Okay, the black cover is like really bad for my eyes right now. I need, just need to set it up real quick. But I forgot the button, please bear with me. Okay. Wait, who the fuck is that green? Oh, yes, it is. Now, yeah, right here, you're going to want to place your endothermic fire pit. I know it's not really symmetrical, but uh, that's how I normally use it. Now, if you want to have another ice flingomatic here, you can, but you're going to need a um, better ice flingomatic mode that lets you have a um, Dice Flingomatic next to your campfires. Now here is going to be your science place where you place your shadow manipulator and your other science stuff like let's say you want to have a potter's wheel here you go place it maybe a rainometer and a lightning rod the, the, this is really important the lightning rod like I normally have lightning rods at um, a decent amount of space in between but uh, still I have a lot of them because I don't want my base to catch on fire and I place one over here as well now we're done with the lightning rods let's start let's talk about the farms now here you're going to have to want to place your farms in the range of the flingomatic I know I'm not giving you much space to work with but uh, still there's a little bit of space that you can work with Now I'm just going to make a, a really small and fast farm because um, I don't want to just extend the video and do dumb shit. But you get me, you just need the farms. Also, if you want these to actually produce something, you need to fertilize them either with the manure or with a rock. And why did why did I not plant it? Okay, I'm just going to skip on, skip the planting. You get me. Uh, now here is where I place my. Uh, this is my drying rack station. I place a lot of drying racks I, they, because they extend your meat uh, life, and uh, they give it a lot of benefits as well. I just realized I fucked up again. This video is a massive failure. Okay, give me a moment, I need to fix my mistake, I just did this. I'm still going to upload it, but still, I just need to stop fucking up. I'm, every time I make a video, I'm a little bit under pressure, I don't know why. Like, I'm not even making it for that many people to see it, I just don't want anybody to see me fail. Like, I fail every day in life. Still keeping them out of the range of the flingomatic, blah blah blah, just place one here and then one as close as you can to the other one so I can actually place the jerky and if I can't again. I just fucked, them, fucked myself over it once again. Great one, nice, nice, man. Netter, man. Let's say we're placing it 
Normally I don't place two fires because I'm fucking stupid. Okay, fuck then, those are make fire pit. We're just going to go with uh, the Victorian card over here. The endothermic fire pit you can place it above the other one. Like I understand how much I failed right now, but I like to have a lot of drying racks to dry my meat and give it a lot. Because I think a dry jerky gives about gives uh, 20 health, 15 sanity, and a 20 hunger. A, a dried small jerky, I think it gave 8 health, um, about 10 hunger. And uh, I forgot, I think it was 8 Sanity as well. I haven't done much research for the video, I just wanted to make it. Because it's I, I'm just having fun making videos. Almost, we're almost done. I always like to finish this part, I don't know, I just like building Rangorax, it's fun for me. I don't know how this can be fun to someone, I just like it. Uh, here you're going to want to have your all your food farms, uh, crafting food farms, not the basic farms, because uh, the basic farms uh, grow crops slower. That's it, that's the, down the only downside for them, they just grow crops, crops slower. Now, you're going to want to have the, all of these inside of the Flingomatic. Strange. But since I'm too dumb, I, I just realized my other big failure. But I do not care. Wait, I was about to do a really big oof. Now you get me, you can, you can work on this base a little. That's just how I normally build it. I don't really pay attention to my stupid decisions. It's just how I build my base. Now you can finish this place. Um, eight more farms, but here is going to be your bee farm. You're going to want to have the bee boxes inside of the Flingomatic range, and uh, the flowers. Not really. You shouldn't really care. Now people are going to be oh, but spring, spring is gonna fuck you over. Well, yeah, you're right. I have nothing else to say. No, spring doesn't really fuck you over, because look, you're, you're the place where you're gonna spend most of your time is here, here, and here. And bees rarely wander around, will wander around here, and you shouldn't really care. I don't know why I just why I just killed that rabbit. I was like, why the fuck not? And also in spring, I don't think you will be spending most of it uh, of your time at your base. You'll be looking for moose, uh, mooses and gooses and everything else. You just come here to get food, and that's it, pretty much. That's what you do most of the time. So, and uh, in spring, you you just come collect the, the honey and just go away. Yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure I'm that's pretty much it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, maybe um, leave a comment, subscribe. May, uh, consider subscribing tell me maybe tell me what I sh what should I do next and uh, yeah that's it bye